What up? It's Golden Spaces, an Odyssey original podcast with Justin and Nat. This is not the pod we expected to be recording today. The Warriors did not close out in game six, and there will be a game seven. Shout out to the Kings. Give them credit. They came in and handled their business from the jump. Mm -hmm. From the jump. They were playing with more energy, with more hustle. And, you know, before, like, when we looked at the schedules, And I said this about the Lakers series, but it also applied to our series, except that, you know, to me, I thought the Warriors really had a chance to, like, do this in five or six games, you know. But the later you got in these series is the less days you have off between games and recovery. So they're only having one night off, which is why letting that game one go was so critical. It was so critical because you just played them a few extra minutes in game one. And we're not even here right now, right? So uh, it just, (laughs) I mean, it was so unacceptable. I think Kerr just shit the bed. I think he did an awful coaching job. But I also think, like, Steph came out really passive. Like, to me, this was not the way you needed to come out in this game to get it started, in my opinion. And then, like, once the lead was to a certain amount, I already knew. I'm like, they're going to try to just, like, you know, it's like Steph saved me, hit some threes. They want to do this. And it just, it's, I mean, it just didn't make sense to me what was happening tonight. It was inexplicable to me that Kerr did not have the fucking balls to bench Jordan Poole. Yeah, totally. I mean, a lot of the stuff that he did tonight was inexplicable. Wiggins only playing 33 minutes. He sat like the first five or six minutes straight of the fourth quarter. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. No, um, not when you need stops. I'm like, no wins out stops. there, no Draymond out there. I didn't understand that 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 foul that Draymond did at the end of the third to give De'Aaron Fox those free throws. None like, of them. It just seemed like none of them were locked into the task in this game. Like, not even a single person. Maybe I mean Moody came out there and he's focused on not getting yanked, so he's like super focused on not making mistakes. Um, I thought Clay was fine mostly on the offensive end, but they all were terrible on defense. Um, just leaving guys open, just just dumb stuff all night, shooting themselves in the foot like they've done this entire series. So maybe this is just who they are, right? Um, like you said, give the Kings credit; they hit a ton of big shots. It seemed like the Warriors were make, trying to make a run in the in the middle of the fourth quarter, early fourth. Steph hit like six or eight points in a row. And the Kings answered every single bucket with a huge bucket of their own. So, yeah, you, I mean, you let them get into rhythm now. You know what I'm saying? You didn't yep. play defense. They're in rhythm, you know? And it's just like, honestly, getting Sabonis in foul trouble helped them. That's why I'm just like, like, they found something. I don't think you're going to see a lot of Sabonis minutes in the next game. Probably not. I mean, he's going to go to that small lineup again. Um, just didn't make a lot of sense for them to go with Loon against that lineup, I don't think, no, early in no. the game. Should have went Draymond, uh, maybe even some Wiggins at the five. Like, if they're getting unconventional, you should just get unconventional, right? I mean, like, that's just how it is. This is another opportunity for you to close out, and Mike Brown just coached circles around Steve Kerr tonight. And the players just laid an egg out there. All the players for the Kings played harder. They were more focused. They were not um, running to loose balls. Like they right. were just the it's most like, hustle I saw was when 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 Wiggs went on dived on the floor, you know. And I'm like, okay, maybe this will like ignite them, you mm-hmm. know. And the, yeah. and 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 they tried to they tried to manufacture it, but every time they they did something, the Kings responded, and so then then mm-hmm. you're defeated and you don't have. But that that should have existed in the beginning of the fucking game. Exactly. If it's there in the beginning of the game, maybe the Kings don't have the rhythm that they have to hit some of those shots. Um, and the, the entire game is different. They started the first possession of the game, pretty much they turned it over, right? Yeah. Like, first possession of the game. Set the tone for the rest of the game. Just completely lackadaisical. Like, they thought the Kings were just going to lay down. And the Kings just took it to them all night. You it's- tell Chase to show up early. And they actually did. Because, like, 10 minutes before, people were like, oh, it's not in here. But by the time the game started, they were like, Chase is mostly full. Mm-hmm. And then y'all go out there and play like that. Now you got to go all the way. You got to go back to Sacramento 
which is a super hostile environment. I'm sure they're going to be packed. It's not going to be like game five where there was a, some Warriors fans in there. It's going to be completely purple in there. Like, backs against the wall, on the road. You sucked on the road all year. You put yourself in another bad position because of the bad loss. And this is something they've done all year. They they get some momentum, and then they have a terrible loss. Like, they did it in a regular season multiple, multiple times. They just did it again, laying an egg in your home court where you've been virtually unbeatable all year. Just un unacceptable unexcusable yeah <laughs> when Prime was the last time they played in the game seven the last time they played in a game seven had to be 2018 Rocket? against the rockets they had to be the last game seven they played in yeah <laughs> i mean we know they can win them but it's been a while since you've played in the game seven yep and you're older. This is what you got? This is this is. I mean, obviously, this is your season right here. You lose this game, you you go home. But this is where we see if y'all still got it, right? Because tonight it looked like <laughs> y'all don't. No. You know what I mean? It looked like you gave it all it you had old. in game five. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It looked like you gave it all you had in game five and ran out of juice. That's exactly what it looked like. So if that's the case, then all right, pack up your bags and go home, and then they can you know, see what they want to do in the summer because then it's just going to be perfect ammunition for, for people to blow it up. Not blow it up, but essentially blow it up. Got to put it all on the line. But that's the thing. Like, if you happens. have to be... if if, 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 if if Even if we're at a point where we're saying that, like, unless they have two nights off between games, they can't do long series anyway, then that's still a problem. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. It's like, that's a problem regardless. Because... I mean, there's an argument to be made that maybe some of the other series going forward won't go long, but yeah, there's no guarantee of that. There's no guarantee. And, and then even no if you, you do pull the series out, then you won't play on Sunday, and then game one is going to be on Tuesday. Facts. So from here on out, it's pretty much every other night you plan. I mean, they might have a couple of like – depending on who they play, because it could be Grizzlies or Lakers. So they might get like some, you know, but it you're not going to get it right off the jump, you know? Mm -hmm. And if it's Grizzlies, you got to go all the way, <laughs> you know, across the country for a game one. You know, mm -hmm. at least if it's Lakers, you would have a game one in your home. Right. I knew like everybody was getting ahead of themselves. I mean... Of course, I was like, I wanted the Warriors to win, and I was saying they would win. But, like, just some of the tweets and the way people were talking, I was just like, guys, they still got one more to win. Right. And this team is not going away, obviously. They play with desperation. Mike Brown coached with the desperation, and it worked out because it was not that that energy was not matched on the Warriors' side because they somehow take the form of – the the hubris of the fan base sometimes and they go out and lay an egg it's like it's been a trend for for years now if there's just a collective feeling from the warriors fan base that they're just they got it in the bag the warriors always come out and lay an egg i've noticed that this is kind of a weird phenomenon that's got us yeah i didn't love any of it i didn't love all the game six clay stuff that's why i didn't say because i feel like yeah when like sort of like forced on him i mean clay was solid offensively but i was just like game six clay should happen organically not because we're trying to say oh it's game six thank clay you. like thank now you. come do this thank you it we, we they jinxed him what in the finals last year yeah they ended and up winning game like, six but he was like terrible in that game <laughs> i didn't like perk coming to our side my co-workers michael smith came over to our side i was like no it's just not good. Maples had his tweet earlier, and I was just like, he's like, right, enough of the child's play, Lakers and Warriors. And I was just like, nah, man, like, please don't like jinx us. Yep. Yep. Oh my God. I'm so aggravated. I'm so aggravated. Uh, sad performance. No, um, it is. And honestly, it's like, it's 50 50. It's definitely 50 50. Like, Y'all have not shown the, the ability to consistently win games on the road. You already stole one on the road. That was supposed to be your one that you stole. Um, now they're going to be really playing with desperation. And you can just tell guys like Fox and Monk, they're just guys that rise to the occasion. 
right? That you can't expect a dud from either of those guys. Um, and it's one game now. It's now it's one game. So Herder's been ass all season. I mean, all all uh, series. They're gonna be at home. They're gonna have gonna their home. home crowd. It's like it's any is anything goes. It's anything go. You have to play with absolute desperation because your season is on the line. You gotta play perfect. Get hot. And Kerr gotta fucking like just keep the rotation short. Really, you make two mistakes in a row. If you aren't in that starting lineup, like Jordan, you make two mistakes in a row. He gotta sit. It's way too many times throughout this game where he's making two, three horrendous mistakes in a row, and then they're calling for subs, and he's still in the game. I'm like. We taking Steph out when Jordan just turned the ball over two, three times in a row, missed layups, missing free throws, missing defensive rotations. I know we ain't starting with that dumbass lineup again. Like, I'm, I'm, oh no way! It doesn't work. Yeah, like it's it not. worked in one game. I don't know why they think it works. Yeah, it, it's done. It's got to be done. And then it makes all the rotations wonky for the rest of the fucking game. Facts. That's why I said stop this. Like when they said it again, I was just like, we doing this again? <laughs> Y'all didn't have any kind of great results. At this point, I have to believe this is just about egos. Yeah. I mean, he's he should be going back to the next game. Start Draymond. JP, if he's not into it immediately, his leash got to be short. I would even try Moody some more. He played 16 minutes, was a plus five. Dante somehow was a plus five in his minutes, but he just can't hit a shot. Um, Gary, only 10 minutes. Why is that? I don't understand why he wants to keep going to Dante and not GP2. I do not get it. I don't get it either. But they just they just got to be better, man. They just got to be better. JP, two for 11. Wiggs got to get downhill more, right? 0 for 3 from 3, but he was 5 for 10 from 2. Just got to get downhill and actually get downhill, not taking two dribbles inside and shooting a fadeaway. But, yeah, just play with some more force, man. Like, that's all that is. They got out-rebounded by 11. Um, Equal amount of turnovers, but I think more of those turnovers led to actual shot Mm -hmm. opportunities for the the Kings. Mm -hmm. Um, And they shot 14 more shots. Mm-hmm. Even though the Warriors shot 10 more free throws, which they got a favorable whistle tonight, too. They did. You got a favorable whistle tonight and still got blown out. That's sad. I mean, Looney still gave you 13 rebounds. 13 rebounds, two steals. Like Other people got to come and help him, man. For sure. For sure. But. Yeah. Justin, we're supposed to be sitting back watching the Lakers game. Right. Rooting. <laughs> Rooting for, for Memphis to extend their series. Well, we still are. We definitely are now. Yeah. Um, it's just just a pathetic showing. That's that's the, the best word I can use to describe it. Absolutely pathetic. Um, not locked in at all. Missed 10 free throws. Yeah, like Steph is missing free throws. Jordan's been splitting his free throws. Steph missed two free throws tonight. When three. I see that, that's how I – three? He missed three. That's how I always know when he's not locked in because it's like, bro. <laughs> like, they got – they shot ten more free throws and only made four more. Sad. Wiggins was like missing all of his. I mean, he usually at least even splits. I mean, yep, yep. I I don't truly understand what happened tonight, but they got outplayed, and I you just gotta give credit to the Kings. Definitely give credit to the Kings. There's just no urgency from the Warriors in any aspect, not in how hard they were playing, not in how smart they were playing, not in how they were being coached, not in how their rotations looked. Everything looked completely terrible, and it was still a semi-close game for most of the game, um, partly due to the favorable whistle. And you just got to think, like, if this team just doesn't play boneheaded, they should be winning these games. Like, this is now second or third game. They just completely blew by not coming ready to play. 
not being locked in. And like like we said, give credit to the Kings. The Kings are going out there and doing it. But the Warriors gotta they gotta come with some more urgency. Like gotta come with some more urgency. I mean, they came with urgency in game five. Three. The game where the game that Draymond was suspended. What game was that? Game three. three? Yeah. Mm-hmm. In game three. And even without Draymond and without Gary, they got it done because they just took care of the ball and played good basketball. The games you don't. You lose. <laughs> I'm so I'm just so disgusted. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> disgusted. Same. I'm so disgusted. Yep. Yeah. Really I mean, if it was against any team but my own. I would be cheering for the Kings, except for Sabonis. I don't like him. And Harrison Barnes, he really gets on my nerves. Yeah. Like, all that extraness, like when he had that dunk and he, uh, like, why is he doing the most? Right. He's doing the most. But obviously, I still want the Warriors to win, but it's like, what are y'all doing? Yeah. And honestly, it's there for the taking for you. I don't just mean with the Kings. To the extent that there was going to be a team that challenged you, a lot of people thought it would be the Bucks mm-hmm. in the East. I still yeah. thought they could beat them, but people thought it was going to be the Bucks, right? I mean, the, the, the Sixers, their length could bother, but I don't think the Sixers are making it out. So you look at the East, and maybe what would be your toughest opponent has been eliminated you look at the West. Ain't nobody super strong in the West. Yep. Like you get Grizzlies and Kings in the next round. Like, what is that even gonna be like? Like, what <laughs> what are those ratings even gonna be? I don't know. Probably in probably in the trash. But that's just yeah, it's been a weird season. But for them to shoot themselves in the foot like this, that would be just absolutely tragic. Tragic, um, And that's just not Warriors basketball. Like, whenever the Warriors have lost, they've gone out on their sword. Like, they've just, mm-hmm. you know, put it all, left it all on the court. And whether it be, you know, not having enough gas in the tank or just having injuries, whatever the case may be, or you just run into all-time great players that play that play well enough to beat you. Um that's usually how they've gone out, but this way is just not it. You know, and maybe Fox is on his way to the Hall of Fame, right? Hall of Fame career, but he's still he's still a young pup. Monk's still young. Y'all should not be losing to the Kings. Like, let's just be serious for real. Like, they the three seed, you the six seed, but y'all just won a chip last season. This is their first time in the playoffs in over in almost two decades. Y'all should not be losing the first round to the Kings. Now it's winner take all game seven on the road. We're gonna see what y'all made of this season, right? <laughs> In the past, y'all have y'all have came through. But we're gonna see what y'all made of this season. And then it gets real interesting if y'all don't come through, if y'all don't pull it out. So that's what it is. Maybe this will just be one of those things like this is the scare that woke the Warriors up. It's going to either end you or because if, if 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 they get past this round and then they still continue to do shit like this in the in the next round, like oh, you just coming. deserve to lose at some point. It's coming. <laughs> what? They're going to they're gonna do some more dumb shit. If they get past this, they're going to do some more dumb shit. But I'm just saying, hit... like to this extent, the hubris is like. Mm hmm. Now, I will say I don't think any other team poses the same matchup issues that the Kings do, right? The Kings go small, and they literally have five people that can hit a three out there, and they got do multiple dudes that can just get downhill in the blink of an eye. So it puts a ton of uh, pressure on your defense. That's why they were getting some open threes when they went um, five out, and they just hit them. But um, – the Warriors got to counter that with a small ball of their own. They got to be able to guard one-on-one and not overhelp. And 
that's the only way that they can really stop that five out thing right there. But yeah, I mean, if they if they get past the Kings, I don't think any other team would be able to pose that type of issue for them. But they just gotta they gotta get past them. And it starts with taking care of the ball, rebounding the ball, playing just as hard, if not harder, than the Kings, and making the necessary adjustments in game. I just want to know what they're saying in this fucking post game. Sorry. I'm getting text messages. Kerr Kerr talks about JP's frustrating night. I want to hear what he's saying. He was trying to attack. Yeah, Jordan never really got going tonight, uh, unfortunately. Um, You know, he got a little frustrated early. He had had a couple plays where he didn't get calls. And, uh, you know, he was trying to attack but couldn't couldn't quite um, shake free. So um, just a frustrating night for him. But, um, you know, it it was a a poor night for all of us, you know, including me. You know, we we always say we win together, we lose together. And this was a a team effort that uh, includes players and coaches and – you know, the, uh, the, the, the Kings outplayed us, outcoached us, uh, deserved to win. Yeah. Oh, shut the fuck up. Like, I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that shit. Same day after the whole praising Giannis for the, like, there's no failure in sports. If you lose this series, it's a failure, bro. Defending well, champion. I just tweeted that. I tweeted that shit. I said, they lose the next game. This is a fucking failure. Like, Understand definitely, that. Definitely. To defend your title with by losing a 3-2 lead in the first round to the Sacramento Kings, whose average age is like, I don't know, <laughs> to a coach that left your staff and now beat you in the first round. We got out coach. Why are you getting out coach when you're the championship coach? Like, come on, bro. Saying. Like, oh, it just irks me the praise that this man Steve Kerr gets. <laughs> uh, he has his ups and downs. This is a major down right now. Ups. Major down. Okay. He has his ups and downs. All right. That's what we want to call it. Justin, I'm so aggravated. I'm so aggravated. Like, I, you know, like, I can't even, I'm just like, it'd be one thing if they played and it was a close game and the Kings just got them. Right. It would still suck, but it's just like, bro. Like, did y'all know there was a game tonight? Did you understand this was a closeout game? You know? Mm -hmm. This, This is like, to me, the way the Celtics behaved and not closing out the Hawks, except they had more opportunities, meaning like you guys do have another opportunity, but yours is a game seven. Like even if they would have went to Atlanta and lost, they still had a game seven to come back to in Boston. Right. You don't have a game seven on your home court. (laughs) Yeah. Pathetic. Better. They looked old. They looked unengaged. They looked like they've looked all serious. Like they just thought they just show up and win because it's the Kings. Like, bro. But I just really cannot believe that they thought that. Meaning, you know, because Curry is like, we know they're going to come and bring it. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Which is why, I mean, I really just think that they're tired. I th- oh, I think so too. <laughs> you know, and so when you're tired, it leads to more mistakes. They just couldn't. Maybe they were hoping that their home crowd would give the energy needed to like the role players and some of the other guys. Mm-hmm. But it didn't. Jordan Poole was awful. He was awful. And, you know, Dante was not good. Nope. And then to me, Moody was giving you a little something, but then you not play him then. Right. Play him. Literally. (laughs) Like, I just don't understand why we are worried about minutes in a game that gives you the series. 
I mean, and guys were in foul trouble because they were just not locked in. And now you got to get weird with the rotations. I'm sure that's why Jordan played a little bit more than he should have, but fuck that, bro. Only person that had five fouls was Dre. Everybody else, tch. Wiggs, 33 minutes, unacceptable. And Wiggs younger than all of them. Play him. Hasn't played in two months. Unacceptable. <laughs> like Keegan Murray didn't shoot the ball particularly well. He had four huge threes, but other than that, he couldn't hit a shot. And he played 45 minutes. Darren Fox, f- five turnovers. He only had two fouls. 37 minutes. Like, come on. Harrison Barnes, Harrison Barnes is a starter. He's been decent for them all series. Only played 15 minutes because he just didn't have it this game. His coach said, all right, whatever. <laughs> Malik Monk going to play 32. Terrence Davis is out there. He hit a huge three. He's been making stuff happen defensively. Terrence is outplaying our starters. <laughs> right. Trey Lyle is a double-double, 12 and 10. Come on, man. Should never happen. Pathetic. Yeah, we were out coach. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. Yep. Well, back against the wall. Gotta show up. Gotta show up. It's 50 50 at this point. Gotta show up. I wonder what the line is, the Vegas line for that game is. <laughs> <laughs> I just look. I don't expect that stupid ass starting lineup, but like I know he's gonna give Jordan a, a try. But if he is not playing well, like you gotta be okay benching him. And like the Dante, like I truly love Dante, but this is not the series for him. You're right. Like if your guys gotta play 42, 43, 44 minutes, they gotta play that. Yeah. Simple as that. And if the Kings, I mean, if the Kings go small. It has to be Draymond at the five. It has to be potentially Wiggins at the five. If they're gonna if they're gonna play that game, then you know you got to match it because this isn't the type of team where you can just be like, oh, we're just gonna outsize them and all this type of stuff because y'all don't they don't even play that type of game. The Warriors don't even play that type of game, so I you can't counteract so that. Capable of in-game adjustments. Why does it always got to be the next fucking game after you get beat? Right. <laughs> That's the curse special right there. Take the L and then and then adjust instead of just preventing the L in the first place. He claims part of the reason Kenny was there is data and he helps him understand stuff. Kenny don't fucking see that Dante. This is not a Dante series. <laughs> The analytics and eye test says it. Yep. You you stop playing Kaminga, but you still insisting on playing Dante. Why? What are you seeing from him? Not sure. And then it's just like some of the plays, even like that time when Dre, like, you know, you we got you like scoring last game, and then you went back to not scoring this game, and then you like drive into the basket and you pass it out to Dante. Why? Dante is not hitting his threes. You are right there. Right you there. are right fucking at the rim. No, let me kick it out to Dante. Brick. <laughs> like, hit a ridiculous amount of paint points or something last game the Warriors did, and then now they're kicking out for more threes in transition. And I could tell that early in the game. I'm just like, they just want to break this game open so bad. Right. right? Like, they want to just hit some threes. They want to, like, blow it out. They want it to be that. And, like, I felt like even from the beginning, their shot selection wasn't great. Mm -hmm. But yet they were keeping it close. And it was, like, within one. Or they were tied. Or within a few. (sighs) And then once the Kings broke it open a little bit, the, the, the Warriors could never get back, you know, to maybe, like, within six seven couldn't get it any lower than that 
And at that, and at those moments, that's when Kerr is like, oh, I'm going to sit Steph. Oh, I'm going to sit Wiggs and Draymond. Like, what the, f- what are we doing? Wiggs like, and Draymond at the same time. Or- like, when the fourth quarter started, I said, well, I, I, I'm confused. Are they conceding the game? I don't understand what's happening. Because I'm seeing the fourth quarter start, and the Warriors are down 10 or whatever it was, and I don't see the starters in this game. Mm-hmm. Sad. But listen, the only thing I will say is that while I know De'Aaron Fox is a playoff riser, and it appears Monk is a playoff riser. Game seven, people be having nerves. And you just yep. got to hope the rest of them guys don't show up like that. Mm-hmm. We got to hope we get more than 23 minutes from Sabonis. <laughs> and more than 15 minutes from Harrison Barnes. Justin, I don't really got anything else to say. Me neither. Show up. <laughs> Show up and do what they need to do. That's it. Yeah, I mean, how disappointing, man. The vibes are like four right now, maybe. Yeah, I agree. It's like, come on. Come on. I really hope the Grizzlies can extend that series. Uh, I mean, they're down by like 10 right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you are giving the Lakers a blessing if they win tonight and close it out. And then today's Friday. Friday? So they have Saturday, Sunday, Monday, two, four days to rest. <laughs> yep. That's all I got. I am going to say. And to be honest, I'm going to be so angry because, like, I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to think about it if the Warriors don't advance. Because, like, that, I don't know. I'm just not seeing. Like, to me, then, at that point, there's a path for the Lakers. Yeah. I agree. I guess we just got to see. I mean, I don't think anybody, I don't think those teams are beating Boston if they see him but we'll see okay well y'all I'm sorry I know we're usually the ones here hyping you up and and look I I still think the Warriors can win the game Mm -hmm. but it's a game seven anything can happen in a game seven it's a game seven. So, you know, the Warriors need to be the best version of themselves to win that game. Facts. They need to be the best version of themselves to win that game. So everybody was expecting the Warriors to win tonight. Even Kings fans. There were like a handful of them like, they just got to go in and do this and do that. But a lot of them were like, oh, it's over. It's over. I see this, you know, mm-hmm. the pundits, the media. And I don't really care if people are with us or not with us because they too flaky. But I'm just saying, like, they were supposed to win tonight. You took control of the series. You took the momentum. You won three games in a row. And I get it. Winning four games in a row is tough. But, like, you were at home. That right. was supposed to give you the extra boost that you needed. You were at home, and they were ready to be done. You know what I mean? They had their – this was their last shot. You know, they went they went small, and that was their last shot at throwing something at the wall and hoping it sticks. If you come out the gate – because they came out the gate weak, and they were still up by two going into the second quarter. If you come out the gate precise, aggressive – trying to put this series away early, then the Kings might not have life going into the second half. They might just be ready to pack it in. 
But you gave and I them feel life. like Clay was doing that, but I didn't feel like Steph Clay was, was doing the only that. one that was doing it early. Clay was the Steph only one. Steph wasn't doing it. Dre wasn't doing it. You know, like this is your chance. You talked about in your pod taking advantage of their experience. This is your chance. Like make mm-hmm. crazy defensive plays, like eh, doing your Draymond thing. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. Steph was very, I wouldn't, I won't say passive, but he was very um determined to get other guys going early and for this particular game you no. need to get yourself going you need to get yourself going early to try to put them away because if, if you open the game in the first quarter and you got 8 10 12 points in the first quarter they like fuck like it's Steph like you know what i mean it's just it's just a little bit different than if it's the first quarter and Jordan Poole got four or five shot attempts. He ain't hit none of them. Clay, Clay got it going, but it's Clay and Wiggins ain't got a few. He only got a few shot attempts, and you only shot twice. It's like, bro, now they feel like, all right, we still in this. Like, but if you put him to bed in the first quarter early, yeah, you were supposed to come out there and give him like a punch. Right. It, it has to be that game. It has to be just like Game Four against Boston. Early in the game, you set the tone. And screaming at the crowd and all that type of stuff, like I'm here, like whatever the case may be. Game seven in Sacramento, it's got to be from the jump. Like y'all are not beating us. I'm here right now, and I'm gonna give y'all forty tonight. Like from from the tip, it cannot be all right. All right, Wigs, here are your shots. All right, Clay, they got to get their shots when they get them because nine times out of ten, their shots are gonna be pretty easy anyway. So they don't need to build a crazy amount of rhythm. Wiggins don't need to be shooting a crazy amount of threes. Like, they cannot stop you going to the paint at all. Nobody on their roster can. Harrison is too slow. Herder's too slow and too weak. Right? Darren and Malik Monk are too small. Terrence Davis is too small. None of Keegan Murray is too – he's like Harrison. He's too slow. They can't stop you from getting to the rim. So go all the way to the rim. Stop all this spotting up shit. Cut when when guys get the ball and they're coming downhill. Cut. You should be able to get an uh, uh, alley-oop dunk. Once every quarter, really. But yeah, there's got to be urgency from the jump. That's it. That's all they need, really. You know, I heard like um, I was listening to Dre's post game last game, and I had actually really liked it. You know, like he wasn't like overly cocky. You know, I'm talking about once they went up three two. You know. He wasn't like, because you know how sometimes Dre can be. But his Mm -hmm. whole demeanor, everything, I'm like, I haven't seen Dre like this in a while, you know? And I was just like, I liked it. It wasn't all, like, extra and stuff. He said the thing about the villain. That's when he's just like, no one likes being a villain, but I'm not going to. But he just wasn't, you know. And I was like, I felt like, and and nobody was actually being too cocky or anything, you know? They were hopeful. So I just... you know, I didn't expect this. Nope. I didn't expect this, but I I want to definitely give the Kings their 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 credit. For sure. For sure. I mean, as we're as we're speaking, the Lakers are up 16. So it's looking like they're taking care of their business. Yeah. I mean, we've seen the Grizzlies come back in these games with the Lakers, but it's doubtful. Yeah, I don't know if it's happening tonight. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, because LeBron actually understood to take care of your business, and Steph should understand that too. Uh, you know. Yep. Yeah, I mean, if you don't get it done, psh, whew, the slander is going to be. Yeah, I ain't really tripping. Crazy. Because you know. Especially because they said they would prefer to play the Kings and all of this kind of stuff. Yep. So, you know, which I do genuinely believe it was for geography purposes, mm-hmm. you know. Um, mostly, you know, whether they thought, I, I really don't think they would have cared if, oh, they saw the Suns first or whoever. I don't think that they care about that. So, but... Look, this just may be a part of like Steph's GOAT resume, but 
it just didn't have to be like this. It didn't have to be this hard. It didn't have to like go down like this. Literally did not. You guys just won the championship last year. So yes, there are expectations. The expectation at a minimum is to get back to the finals. <laughs> just don't, I mean, don't lose in the first round too. It really should be get back to the finals, but at least don't lose in the first round. Barely missed a play in. And now you're in this position. And I mean, I get it. Like for the year, while their while their record should have been better and all that, you were missing pieces. But like you have all your guys now. Yep. And I know, look, it sucks because you're not getting from your bench what you thought you would. So you're having to play people more. But like every series calls for something different. Right. And courage just rigidity and inability to adjust. It's like, Kerr, you probably won't have to be like this in the next series. So just play them now. Yeah. I mean, just y'all let game one slip away. And this series could have been done after the last game. So you play with your food. And I just, I don't know. It, it, I don't feel good about that because I just feel like when you just keep playing, you keep playing, you keep playing. You're going to get bit. At some point, it comes back to you. Yep. You know, at some point, it comes back to you. And that's why I'm just like, I don't know at this point. Like, I can't tell from what I watch because I really do think they looked old. I think they looked tired. They did. And I know myself, like, when I'm feeling tired and I'm feeling fatigued, it leads to more mistakes. Right? So, but what are you going to do? Because I know you're still tired and now y'all got to go play a game on Sunday in the middle of the day. It's not even like a full, you know. Mm -hmm. yep. You're going to have to find a way to muster it, to like manufacture that. If they still got it, then they'll do it. If they don't... <laughs> Then they won't. Yes, do or die now. So game seven it is. My heart is going to be all, you know. I was so thankful in game five. I was like, all right, thank y'all for not taking this to the very, very end. So like. Right. You know, <laughs> like, right. In my I mind, do. I'm like, the only scenario they go to a game seven is if they um, lose game five. That was That was my thought process. Cause I was like, ain't no way they losing at home in this series, and lo and behold, laid an egg. Well, we will see. Listen, y'all, we appreciate y'all tuning in. We'll be back here no matter what after Game Seven, but hopefully, it will be us <laughs> <laughs> getting ready Probably. for the next series. Right. Mm, that's <laughs> You know, that's what we're going to put out into the universe and that's what we're going to hope for. But it's just, it's 50-50. It's, it's when to go home. And the Warriors don't have this game in their building. Yippee. <laughs> you okay, Justin? I'm good. Okay. All right, y'all. Well, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you... Follow us, Twitter, Instagram, at Golden Spaces Pod. Um, someone reached out to me recently about like, oh, how do I rate? So I appreciate that. <laughs> um, definitely give us those five-star ratings. Um, leave us a review. Download, share. You know the drill. But we appreciate you. Until next time, y'all. Take care. <laughs>